Hey guys, it's Craig with Squappy's Videos, and today we're going to go ahead and do another TrueNAS video. Now, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be getting rid of my old server and bringing everything over to my Dell R710. But what we're going to be doing is actually just transitioning the hard drive pool over to the Dell R710. So we're going to actually log into the old server. So go ahead and do right here, right now. And we are going to go ahead and go into settings, general. We're going to go ahead and save our config. Just to be on the safe side, we're going to go ahead and save all those secret seeds and the pool encryption keys just in case. And then we're going to hit save. And that will end up downloading. Right now, it's actually. It'll end up downloading onto my computer. And then what we'll be doing is actually going to the same section on uh, TrueNAS Core on the Dell R710 and actually uploading the configuration right here. So let's go ahead and get that done. I do have to actually install TrueNAS Core on the Dell R710 get the drive installed. So let's go ahead and get that done, guys. All right, so here we are at the old FreeNAS machine, the server that's been in Ashley's closet for a while. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just press the power button and that should send the shutdown signal to everything. Wait for that to shut down. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the computer out from its little alcove here and we will get the 8 terabyte drive removed and it's shut down so let's go ahead and get this hook uh, set up on a little work table and get the hard drive out all right so here we have the old free nas server on the side let's go ahead and actually just get that opened up won't really take much because the beauty of this case still is that it does have these drives drive bays that are partially hot swappable so i say partially because they're not a true hot swap but as you see I was able to disconnect pretty easily other than of course the SATA cable that was right there so let's go ahead and actually undo all four of these guys and then we'll get this guy in the server downstairs all right so i've actually left my ifixit kit downstairs but this old screwdriver will work in a pinch just get all four of these undone Just lift those right out. Just make sure we get all four of those screws. We'll just slide this guy right back into place. All right, there we have it. Got my eight terabyte Iron Wolf NAS drive ready to go. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and take this drive, take this drive, and get it put in the Dell R710. All right, so here we are. This is my Dell R710. I've already got the front plate off of it, so that way all this is uncovered. As you see, it's PowerEdge R710. What I'm going to do, I'm going to press button to release, drive cage zero, which the zero is right here and i'm going to take this drive out and hopefully since i've seen that sas and sata are interchangeable we should be able to go ahead and just take this out unscrew it and screw in the sata drive so since it does actually even say says SAS slash SATA here. 
So go ahead and undo this one. For some reason the screw doesn't want to come out. There we go. Alright. So now I'll take this and put it in here. So I'm actually going to use the same holes because it ends up lining up in the same spot. So. I'm going to go ahead and just put that right there. Just tighten that down. I don't have one for the other side, but that's okay. Should be able to just pop that right in. I'll lock it in. And power it on. Alright, we're going to go ahead and just let that boot up a little bit. Once it does get fully booted up, we'll go ahead and get logged into TrueNAS Core. We'll get the data set pools all transferred over. And we should end up having one eight terabyte drive and five one terabyte drives. All right, stay tuned. So here we are logged back into the Dell R710. I've actually installed the drive, the um, eight terabyte NAS drive in here. So let's go ahead and actually just take a look at it, shall we? So we go ahead and click on it. We'll see right here that it says 7.28 terabytes because that's what it actually reads as. So that's actually the hard drive. So what we're gonna do because that drive has all my data on it. We're going to go ahead and import it. We're going to go to pools because we're going to import the pool. I'm going to hit add, and then import an existing pool, and then next. And I did not have it encrypted, so continue. So, and as you see, there is storage drive, which is exactly the drive that we're looking for. So, we're going to go ahead and hit next. We're going to go ahead and confirm and hit import. This does take a few minutes though. All right, and there we are. It is now imported. So as you see, it's got the, the whole file system here, so the storage and, and all that. And hopefully, there it is. We do have the Plex Media Server. I'm actually going to go ahead and see if we can get it to start. All right, looks like that did start properly, so that is awesome. I'm not really worried about this Minecraft server so much. So now all I got to do, all I got left to do is make sure we have the Windows uh, sharing stuff set up here. So I'm going to do multi protocol here because I do use Apple as well as Windows. And we're going to go ahead and hit submit. And enable it to start manually. Awesome. So now, with that, I should now have my storage drive enabled and shared. And I have the drive back up. As you see, storage pool is here and it does have only 3.58 terabytes left. So that is awesome. So I'm actually right about halfway full on that drive. Soon enough, though, we will get some more drives added to the pool. All right, so that is about it. We do have the server now running in the garage instead of in my wife's office. It is on my Dell R710. 
And we've got the drive brought over. We do have, of course, a couple other drives in here, and I'm not really going to mess with those as of right now. I just wanted to get that one drive up and running so that way we can go ahead and make it so a ton of heat is not leaving my wife's closet. Uh, anyways, uh, my name is Craig. This has been Squappy's Videos. If you did like the video, definitely hit the thumbs up button. Uh, if you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Always your choice. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Join the Squap Squad, as my friends still call it. And I do thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.